Hello, this is HE. This is an update to the Hypercube Infinite Z 3D printer. This week I managed to get the X and Y axis going. The movement axis is the standard core XY design by Tech2C. I'm using the Marlin firmware with an LCD display. Next step is to set up the Z-axis conveyor belt. The conveyor mounts are made of two pieces on each side with matching letters printed on them. The left mount has the, has the built-in gearbox housing. The conveyor mounts are held in place by two T-slot nuts. Now let's have a look at the heat pad. The heat pad is held in place on the conveyor belt by four bolts and four springs. They're a bit fiddly to get in position and I look, it looks like I lost one of my springs. But anyway, this, you get the idea. Now let's mount a th E3D V6 clone and see what the clearing looks like. Here you can see the uh, the hot end is just way way too high. We need to lower it by probably 25 millimeters or so. And also the bed has to move back maybe around 30, 34 for 35 millimeters. So I'm going to move the, um, the stepper motor down as far as it will go and see how much that helps. Here you can see even though I moved it down as far as I could it's still not low enough. So I'll have to redesign the feet so we can move the bed down and the movement axis down as well. By the way, this is how the conveyor belt um, shafts will be mounted. There's a shaft at the top which is just an idler and at the bottom the, uh, the driven button shaft with the, uh, with the gear on it. It will be mounted something like this. Well, thanks for joining in the adventure. Please like and subscribe.